Saturday lunchtime on BBC One, now in a change to the schedule, it's Bargain Hunt. Schedules ripped to shreds. Bargain hunting! A normal football-heavy Saturday's viewing, all now pulled. Pre-recorded standard daytime fare, replacing football focus. Yesterday, Gary Lineker was stood down from presenting tonight's match of the day after he tweeted that the government was using language reminiscent of 1930s Germany about their policy banning people from illegally arriving on boats in the UK earlier this week. Lineker was soon followed by pundits Alan Shearer, Alex Scott and Ian Wright, who all tweeted they would not be appearing in an act of solidarity. What they're doing again is like the culture war they want us to all have. Left versus right, woke, oh, you're woke, you're woke. That is the distraction. And this, I'll tell you something, if they do, BBC, get rid of Gary Lika, I'm out. I'm gone. I'm not staying there. That was then followed by a near blanket boycott from all sports reporters and presenters across all BBC outlets, TV and radio. A statement from the Professional Footballers Association announced that Premier League players in action today would not be asked questions by the BBC. The broadcaster issued an apology for the disruption to their schedule and stood by their previous statement that Gary Lineker's recent social media activity was a breach of their guidelines. The presenter would normally be preparing for match of the day, but this afternoon he visited his beloved Leicester City. But at another one of his former clubs, Tottenham, the fans had mixed views. He hasn't said anything that outlandish, so it's got a right to say what he's saying. As long as he isn't causing overly a offence, being racist, homophobic and none of that stuff, then he ain't doing that wrong. He is employed and people do pay him to talk about football. Sure. Like that is what your job is sure. and therefore you have a choice to make. If you want to keep your job, mm -hmm. then you need to talk about what your job is about. I think he's a sports journalist and his opinions on politics are separate to that. I think if he said it on Match of the Day, it's a different story, but he didn't. I think he should be allowed to tweet what he wants within the parameters of the law. The Prime Minister issued a statement today saying, I hope that the current situation between Gary Lineker and the BBC can be resolved in a timely manner, but it is a matter for them, not the government. He went on to defend the government's policy. We need to break this cycle of misery once and for all. It is not only the fair and moral thing to do, it is also the compassionate thing to do. The BBC is not acting impartially by caving in to Tory MPs who are complaining about Gary Lineker. They've got this one badly wrong and now they're very, very exposed, as is the government, because at the heart of this is the government's failure on the asylum system. A stripped-down match of the day will be shown tonight, but this controversy over whether broadcasters can voice their views has become the ultimate political football.